Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today I'm reviewing Bum 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 Marvel Infinite Series Ares. This is an old one from 2014. I got a, a couple of these the other day thanks to Reborn Trooper. And you can look him up on YouTube, a great channel full of reviews as well, and toy hauls and toy hunts. Uh, so Marvel Ares Infinite Series, 3.75 inches, he looks a bit bigger than that. It says, Marvel's Ares, this proud and fierce warrior was once the Olympian god of war. Now he fights alongside the Avengers, putting his formidable combat skills to the test against the Earth's greatest threats. Always in pursuit of glory and the thrill of victory. Uh, looks like a nice figure in there. You can see the picture on the back of the box. Let's have a look at what it looks like. So, here's the one I've opened already. Let's have a look at his accessories first. Comes with this nice battle axe. This is repeated in the um, four Ragnarok Legends double pack. Enchantress and the Executioner has the same axe as this. That's in the 3.75 inch again. And he has this sword. This is actually very nice and stiff plastic, not too bendy, which is really nice. Unlike Valkyrie, it comes in the same way. The sword is like flimsy. So that's nice too. Let's have a look at him. So, uh, sculpt, quite menacing on the face, which is pretty good. Paintings there is okay. Uh, otherwise, pretty good sculpt, nice colouring on the chin, leg protectors. Also on the sword you can see, it's got the black marks which look nice. On the axe, it's got the hand done which looks good. They put a lot more effort in this one, which is you know it's pretty nice on the hat on the axe head itself. I'll be repainting that anyway. Uh, not bad. Uh, articulation let's go from top down, so he has forwards, backwards, not very far because his hair gets in the way. Uh, left and right. His head will pop off quite easily, so you can use that on another body if you want to replace and back on. His leg just popped off there. Um, let's put that back on. Okay. So let's look at the shoulders. Pretty damn good on the way up. More than 180, more 90 degrees each. Arms are single joints, not you know 90 degrees is what you'd expect. But he does have the or more there. He does have the wrist articulation, so he can bend his wrists over that way, and he can go the other way, which is a really nice surprise I was not expecting that so pretty decent on the actual upper body which is always a plus um, waist turns a little bit forwards and backwards legs go up not too bad double knee joint so he gets uh, not hugely tight because of his leg armor but still tight enough on the actual bend on the knees which is good strange pointy feet shoes see there maybe good for kicking people uh, his ankles go forwards and backwards not a lot but they do twist around quite a bit which is good this is actually got pretty good articulation for the size one of Hasbro's better releases in recent years on the 3.75 inch line uh, one of his legs is slightly bent so he's not standing up particularly straight so he's leaning over one way but he is a nice looking figure so what's he like in size? Let's compare him to, I like to use a war machine. Well, he towers above war machine, and war machine is a pretty pretty big figure. Not, not, well, not pretty big, relatively big. So he does good there. But next to something like one of the other Iron Man versions, he is still towering above. If I use Warmonger, then he's going to be dwarfed by warmonger but he still is a very very good looking figure with good proportions uh, good sculpting on the muscles it does look pretty good it's given some really wicked horseshoe tricep muscles there now very nicely done by Hasbro I am suitably impressed and the paint job is pretty good let's have a look at his weapons so he's put a sword in his hand and he eh, he can't hold his sword properly in that hand other hand, let's have a look. Again, this hand you can't hold properly either. The axe is a wide handle, so I'd imagine this should be okay. Let's have a look. 
Okay, so the axe, he holds nicely, which is good. And the other hand, have a quick look at that as well. Yeah, same, same grip, maybe tighter on this hand perhaps. So it will hold it nicely too. Yeah, very nicely in his hand too. Just a shame that the sword is just a bit too loose in his hands. But I'm sure I can find another figure that can work with this sword. This is one of my more favourite, if not my favourite, in fact, uh, Infinite Series Hasbro figures. In fact, I think this will be approaching my number one. That or maybe Shanna, who's also pretty decent. Hips are a bit loose, as you can see, hence why leg popped off a second ago and why he's not really standing that straight at the moment. But other than that, it's a really nice figure. I've got two of these, of which I'll be probably customising both anyway, but this is a really, really nice figure. Uh, it's like I said, it's four years old, but it's worth getting if you're into the 3.5 inch series, particularly if you're into Vitruvian hacks and fancy stuff, because it's great for customising. It is lovely. Right, this is Awesome Action Toys signing out, saying stay happy, keep collecting, and uh, like and share if you want, subscribe please do. I'll be back in the future, in the very near future, with more reviews. Stay happy. Bye-bye.